Okay, so today is the last day of June, and we all know what that means, right? It's the last day of Dairy Month and kicking off July, which is National Ice Cream Month. So, once again, I had the great opportunity to go visit some friends at their dairy farm as they share a bunch of information with people here in North Dakota. There's tons of great resources at Midwest Dairy, but I just want to let you know dairy is pretty amazing. The catchphrase is undeniably dairy, and whether you like cheese, ice cream, yogurts, or a big old glass of milk, dairy is there doing all they can for the environment. They are decreasing water use. They are getting manure back on the land, which they grow their crop that feeds those cows and you have to remember cows have a four chambered stomach and so there's a lot of activity that goes on in the section called the rumen and so they need a lot of forage and fiber so they can have a good nutritious diet which gives us good nutritious milk so some dairy cows you milk for quality and some you milk for quantity and so that's where the different breeds come in whether you are milking Holsteins, Jerseys, Brown Swiss, Guernseys there's a lot of different type of cows out there depending on the milk and the quality and the butter fat and the content that you are going to use that as an end product for that is why they milk those different type of cows and why you usually see uh, one specific type of cow in a dairy barn or on a farm because where they are selling that whether it be to the creamery they are looking for a certain thing in that content of milk and that's what they test for the other thing is you hear about antibiotics and different things in your milk their milk gets tested when it's in the bulk tank before the milk truck even comes and then when the milk truck comes they test it again so the likelihood of anything getting into your milk although people claim and claim and claim that it does very 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 minimal chance that that would ever happen because it is not tested once but it is tested twice another thing that dairy farmers really watch is their somatic cell count um, same to the people that they sell them to Different things that aid into that is the cleanliness in your parlor, uh, the stress of the animals when you're handling them and during milking. That all kind of affects your somatic cell count and those numbers. Farmers are always striving to care for their animals, but that is a kind of a measurable way that you can tell that they are doing a fantastic job is based on that number. For more information, like I said, go to Midwest Dairy. Uh, they have tons of different videos for kids um, and just a lot of different good information for you from nutrition uh, to just about cows and how they're raised, how milking happens. And so check it out and have a great rest of your June.